so that is it. Our first game development uh, beginner course is come to an end. Uh, well, yeah, we managed to make actually pretty nice solid game with solid features and uh, like I mentioned in previous videos, it's pretty easy to continue to create more levels by using these features, but also to challenge yourself and create new features for the game. God knows what, what you come up with when thinking of uh, different kind of features for a platform game. Uh, yeah, I really suggest that uh, you should uh, try, uh, pick some kind of a feature from a game which you already know and try to do that. Yeah, I think it's the best kind of an uh, education uh, for yourself what you can uh, do. But uh, with these tools, I think you've got a pretty basic understanding how how they uh, construct three game engine works. And uh, hopefully enough tools to continue improving yourself. Uh, I do have a have a uh, upcoming uh, video series in Udemy, Udemy for you to uh, go a little more advanced with Construct 3 and learn to make games a little more uh, diversity and a lot of more different features to dig deeper to uh, code your games in Construct. But yeah, to uh, look uh, a little closer what we just did, we uh, used the platform behavior in our game uh, to uh, well, basically do the possible events to check which kind of an animation should we playing for the character by using different kind of combinations of uh, these uh, conditions. For example, uh, uh, using two conditions in one event. So basically checking out if the player is on floor. So it's not flying or jumping or anything. It's standing on the floor, but it's not moving. So we use the invert as well. So using the I. So pressing an event and pressing the I. We can invert. Basically making it event that if this is not happening, then do this. But yeah, so we used the platform uh, already ready-made uh, events, but also the platform uh, actions, for example, the ready-made, so simulate platform. We had the, uh, the pressing left and pressing right for our enemy. And uh, also, uh, well, yeah, basically that was also the act, all the actions for the platform. But uh, yeah, the rest of the stuff were pretty much animations. And also we checked the... Uh, uh the instance variable how it works there are multiple ways to do this kind of an artificial intel intelligence but i wanted to introduce you to the uh, uh instance variables so yeah there we use the uh, string instance variable to check if the player is moving the left or right and depending on what that instance variable is it we simulate the control and we change that uh, instance variable depending on which side uh, the enemy converts a wall scene. But yeah, so that's that's about it. Uh, it's very basic, good start for your uh, your process in learning Construct Three. Hopefully, you gained. Uh, learned something by watching this, and uh, if you did, please. Uh, let me know, and if you didn't, most especially let me know that uh, that uh, I need to do a better work here. But uh, in either case, please join our Discord channel. Yet again, the Discord channel uh, uh, invitation link can be found from the YouTube video descriptions. So just use any of these uh, video series uh, videos and go to the descri description part of that video and uh, join in to the Discord. So there's a lot of like-minded people learning to make games and also people who have been making games for quite a while. So it's a good place to ask questions and help and whatever you come up with uh, of uh, when talking about games or game development in general. So yeah, hop in and uh, also subscribe to our channel. There's more videos coming, different kind of podcasts and stuff, in, stuff like that to uh, get you going with your game development career. So yeah, uh, 
that's about it. So we have one, uh, sorry, two more videos in this series uh, talking about a little closer of the game development community which we have created. And uh, the last but not least, the uh, online course introduction. So about the Udemy course, which is available uh, in, in Udemy. But yeah, so thank you very much and uh, see you in the next video.